Welcome back Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. First off, I'm going to go through all the additional news and drama that was left out on last episode. First off, we got E-Rob who got banned in the previous episode to last week and he gave the reason as to why he got banned on stream and it wasn't what we thought. Why did I get banned exactly? Fucking, fucking shh, playing with titties in VR chat. Everyone thought it was because, even I thought it was because I said I was going to shoot this place up, but hey, it wasn't. Next up, we got the streamer who goes by the name Emma underscore 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 Charlie, who was abusing an animal on stream. She was messing around with a dog and holding it down in a way that it didn't like. I had a little look at this channel, and this channel has only 71 followers, but has a subscribe button. If it makes you feel any better, though, she did later on get bit by the dog, and she received a 24-hour ban. And next up, we got a Twitch streamer who goes by the name Fedmeister, who received a ban for writing a script for an adult video on stream. It's a bit strange because he wasn't actually doing anything wrong aside from the fact that it was an adult scene. Anyway, here is the clip of him finding out that he got banned. Wait. Oh my God. <sighs> That's fucking... And then next up we got the Twitch streamer GenBear92 who also received a ban. This is for creating fake boobs on stream and she's received her ban for sexual content. Now keep in mind this is her sixth ban to date and her last ban was one month. So she believes this ban is going to be six months and as of right now is streaming on YouTube. And then next up we got two streamers that probably should have received bans this week. So first up we got K-Bubbles who had her stream on the floor. She just left the camera or laptop or computer, whatever she had there on the floor. And her mum who had just come out of the shower was just in a towel and end up crouching on screen. She didn't receive a ban for this, but probably should have. And then next up we got Pokelols who recently due to the blow up of VR on Twitch, he has become extremely successful. And he opened a GIF link which which originally showed one image and then it switched to another image and this other image was an image that should receive a ban but did not. These two most likely did not receive their bans due to how popular they are. And finally in the news we have Wreckful who rode the snake. And next up we got the Twitch streamer who goes by the name Duxa Tiva and he was watching Pokey Lol's stream on his own stream and Pokey finds out and the reaction to this is pretty funny so I'm going to go ahead and let you watch. He sees his face! He sees his face! This time I'm going to finish it. Oh my god. What's up, dude? Get the fuck out of my stream! Get your own content! El güero me está mirando! Ho, 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 ho! Get your own fucking content! Watching us, you are the ultimate leech. And then coming into the 31st, so New Year's Eve, a Twitch streamer who is also a part of the rap group Migos, at least that's what Reddit is saying, I can't really see it, but uh, I'ma just go with them. On stream, he's in a call with this girl I guess he hooked up with at one point, and she's showing him on stream that uh, he's, she's pregnant because of him. Anyway, the reaction's pretty priceless, so check it out. Wait, what does that mean? Explain to me. Oh my god. Okay, it's plus. I see a plus. What does that mean? So that means pregnant. And that means... You're the one that told me to get this one. Look, the arrow goes like that, and the arrow goes like that. So that means I'm pregnant. Oh, shit. That shit came back fast as fuck. 
There was a few people on Reddit saying she could just be doing this for the fame. There was a scandal a few years ago with a girl who said Justin Bieber got her pregnant, but she was just doing it for the money and fame. So this could be that scenario once again, but we don't really know until uh, there's some sort of test done, and that could take a while. <laughs> and next up we have Amaranth, who was at a pub and she was streaming, and well a couple times throughout the time she was there, she got requested to take the camera down and stop streaming, or whatever they thought she was doing. And after a few times of them telling her to stop what she's doing, they finally came over and told her to leave. And well, the thing I find strange here is the way she reacted to this. It's obvious it's fake acting, but it's just, it's really bad. Anyway, check out the clip. And finally on the 31st we have one final story from a ex Twitch streamer known as Only Use Me Blade. He received a permanent ban quite a while ago and there are so many reasons as to why when he gets drunk he just does stupid things. And well that continues on today. So Only Use Me Blade was doing a final stream for the 31st with a fan of his and his fan brought his wife with him. And throughout this stream Only Use Me Blade and his fan's wife get really friendly and end, end up making out during the stream. Oh, where's your wife at? This is a really messed up scenario from the beginning. And about halfway through the stream, when Only Use Me Blade is making out with this guy's wife, he walks into the stream and he just does nothing about it. And keeping in mind, these two are married. And then finally, towards the end of the stream, Only Use Me Blade and this person's wife, who at this point they're both super drunk, walk out into the back room. We don't know what happens. And then a few minutes later, Only Use Me Blade comes back in with his trousers off. And then shortly after that, the the stream ends. It's a really weird scenario and it seems here that a marriage could have just been ruined because of this. Coming up into the 1st of January, first off we got Soda Poppin sharing a story about how his brother has a lot of parties at his house and then Greek God here is just sort of exposing him. So I'm going to transition from one video to the other. A lot of the time the parties were here at this house uh, because he was the party guy and he hosted them. Bitches were always coming over and nothing in my life changed whether they showed up or not i was always playing world of warcraft there's there's videos of me streaming on x fire and there's like three girls behind me dancing and they're all wasted as fuck but i'm no. chewing 3v3 no, that's like, not the reason i don't have time for this no okay, chats please, to take your take chats your chats that's not the reason be honest with us boys you're not a real gamer okay you're a little bit awkward and you're scared to talk to him okay i trust me you could act He's trying to act cool. He's like, guys, listen, guys, shush, guys. There was girls behind me, three girls behind me. They're all naked dancing. But you know what? No, not me. I don't have time for these girls. I'm too alpha for them. Okay, I'm a play three v three. No chance. What was you like? Oh God, there's three girls and I've got a boner. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna just play up. Just play some free. Uh, <sighs> find that hard to talk. That's that's more like it, okay? Okay, that's more like it. Don't try out cool, mate. You're not cool, okay? <laughs> you leave. And then next up we got Pokemon who's sharing her New Year's resolution, I guess you could call it more New Year's goal, with her stream. And this is just sort of a dig at Amaranth, because Amaranth is the Twitch streamer who has the Patreon for pretty much no other reason than it makes a lot of money. So here's the clip. You were subbing Jakezilla. What kind of content that I want to come out with in 2018, you know, what I want to focus on, what kind of stuff I want to be making. Um, so I thought maybe this was a good time to discuss and maybe announce that I'm going to be coming out with a Patreon with some lingerie and probably like, like some cosplay lingerie, so it's like not that bad. And... 
Yeah, I might be selling my underwear, but like probably only underwear that I wore like at least 12 days in a row. Um... Coming into the third, first off we've got the chat logs between Greek God and Mitch Jones all being leaked out. So there is now a website that follows all the chat logs of every Twitch streamer that is above a certain amount of viewers. And you can use this website to basically find out exactly what every Twitch streamer has been saying. And well, this happened between Greek God and Mitch Jones and there's some pretty messed up stuff in there. I'm not going to show it, but it happened. And to finish off this video, first off we got a story from Pornhub. So it's pretty simple, uh, people search things into Pornhub and just like with Google or YouTube, it becomes a trending search. And well, this year, Pornhub released the, uh, the terms Twitch streamers was one of the most trending items being searched on Pornhub, which is kind of messed up. But I have another question. Who the hell is typing in Rick and Morty and Fidget Spinner? And then finally, in leaked news, first off, we get the Twitch streamer who goes by the name GoGirl underscore TV. I guess one of the viewers recognized her because she was found out to be a prior cam girl. She went by the two names, Zookeeper J, and Poker Jade, and a ton of her content has suddenly just become downloadable again. As well as a Twitch streamer who goes by the name Petans got a ton of nudes leaked. So that is it, there is one final story between Mitch and Greek, but that story is not over yet, so I don't want to cover it until the outcome has happened. So my question for you this week comes down to one final thing. So the Twitch fail videos on this channel are just sort of slowly dying, no one really wants to watch them anymore, and I get that, the whole Twitch news and drama has just been overtaking on this channel just way too much. So my question for you guys is, how would you prefer if instead of doing an episode like once or twice a week of Twitch fails, not that I've been doing that recently anyway, my question for you is, how would you like if I just did one episode at the end of the month and the same way I would get the clips now, I would go through reddit.com forward slash livestream fails just like every other Twitch fail channel does and this time instead of doing it the way I would normally do it where I would take almost every clip and just get rid of the really bad ones, now I would only take the ones that had the highest amount of upvotes, so the ones that I guess were the best to the community. So let me know what you think about that. I can just get rid of Twitch fails altogether, but I don't really want to because it's kind of the thing that started this channel to begin with and I don't really want to get rid of it completely. So tell me what you think about that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.